820 now. One local company is changing the rules when it comes to recycling. Good day, Columbus. It's Johnny DiLoretto is live in East Columbus. Johnny, they make some pretty cool recycled products there, don't they? Yeah, they're helping us out, Amy, because you know when you go and you throw away, like, a peanut butter jar? Mm -hmm. And you think, hey, I'm doing a good thing. I'm recycling peanut butter, right? Well, those lids, most people don't recycle them. Right. That's number five, Dan. Polypropylene. Polypropylene. Right. We love getting in peanut butter jar lids. They're, okay. They're easy to sort. Because you guys are making use of them. Correct. So I just turn this on again. Yep. Green button. Yeah. Hear that? And then you take all this stuff and you shove it in here. I don't want to reach too far in there. Right, right. Oh my that would be scary. Yeah. There's some really nasty blades in there that uh, chop everything up into little bits. And then we use those to mold the product. Look at that thing. Look at that. All, right. All polypropylene. It gets chopped up in there. And then go ahead and pull that tub out. And that's what it looks like when it's done. Now when it's in that form, you guys and we make mold, some pretty mold it into our products, right. The caps are a nasty thing in the environment because animals can eat them and ends up uh, causing a real problem. But they are recyclable. We can take them and we make um, funnels and spouts for pollution prevention. So if you're pouring nasty fluids, you can do so without spilling mm -hmm. anything. So if you have some uh, it fluids, locks on there. right? That's so so sweet. It snaps on to the jug there, so you can refill your spray bottles and save money by. Uh, buying in bulk and then refilling your bottles. So and we have special funnels as well. Here's something interesting that you did. Stonyfield yogurt had a problem. They misprinted some of these. Uh, well, yeah, there was an ingredient container. change or something. So it was a, a simple little thing, but we took in their containers. They certainly didn't want to uh, waste them. So we took those in, ground them up, and made ice cream scoops and printed their name on them. That's cool. And they used them for a promotion, and so nothing was wasted. And from the yogurt right. that's, you know, the kind that comes in a six-pack, and you rip, tear it off, and that little plastic Right, from rim. that scrap, we made uh, little flower pots for them Very as cool. well. All right, so come on back, because this, they're also making stuff out of glass. This well, is our Fit Fill Funnel. For pouring bird seed, we have them for motor oil and for fat soils and grease as well. Very nice. Thank you, Dan. Come on back. We got more at Weizenbach. Amazing. Right. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks.